In this short tips and tricks video, we're going to look at a brief introduction to tracing images. Now the software has the ability to trace bitmaps that you may import into the software and the most common reasons to trace images is to create vectors so you could do things such as 2D or 2.5D work like V carving an image, pattern or a word for instance or if you have a spire you may want to trace an image to create shapes from in order to create an overall relief model. And so knowing the outcome that you want will determine the types of vectors that you will draw, where you would trace around a drawing to v-carve, or you'd create vectors that represent a space that you'd like to fill with material to create a model. So let's quickly look at these two examples. So in this example that you can see here, you can see that we've got uh, this image of a bear, and on the right hand side you can see the finished result where we've v-carved that bear. So if I just click in the white space here, you can see this is the original drawing that I've imported into the software. And if I just click out, so you can see we've, all we've done is just faded that bitmap just so we can better see the vectors that we've created. Now these vectors were traced uh, pretty much exactly to the outline of the lines within that drawing and you can see that here and then all we've done is we just took those vectors and simply ran a v-carved toolpath to create the v-carved bear. Okay, so you can see that like so. Now if I wanted to create uh, this same bear but I wanted to create a 3D relief model of that in a spire, let's have a look at how different the vectors are to the vectors that we've got within this vcar file. So you can see in the aspire file we have the same bear drawing that we had in that vcar file except we have the addition of these pink lines. Now these pink lines merely represent the sorts of shapes that I need to create in order to create the entire 3D model that you can see here. So if I click in the space and you can see the vectors that we trace over this image to create the 3D model of the bear. So if we take a look at the head, you can see we've took the basic head shape from the drawing and simply traced a vector around that, which is this one here, filled that with material to create this component here. Again, if we look at the ear, we've simply just followed the curvature of the outside of that ear and sort of finished that off in a circular shape in order for us to create this component here that would ultimately blend in with the face or the head shape of the bear. So you can see how different the vectors are to that of the vcar file. We've got quite um, sort of blobby shapes to create shapes uh, in a 3D model and then in the vcar file we've simply just followed precisely to the lines in order for us to v-carve that same bear. So you can see how the vectors differ according to the outcome of the part that you're wanting to make. Now there are two different ways that you can trace an image in the software. You can do that automatically or you could do that manually. To trace an image automatically you'd simply use this tool here, Trace Bitmap. And all that does, it takes the bitmap that you have selected and it will simply fit vectors around the bitmap. There's lots of different options in here and there are a few videos that follow uh, this short introduction that focuses on this uh, trace bitmap tool. The other option is to manually trace vectors to the bitmap. And here within the drawing tab we have lots of powerful tools that will help us trace an image manually. There are lots of different vectors that we can create from shapes to lines and curves. We can also transform vectors so we can look at sizing them, rotating them, mirroring them, distorting them and then we can look at node editing them so that's a powerful tool to edit vectors also and various other ones such as trimming vectors and then things like offsetting vectors. And so this is the manual way and again there are a few videos that follow uh, this video that looks on how you can trace an image manually. And there are various tips and tricks videos available that discuss both automatic and manual tracing in a little bit more detail. Now there is no right or wrong way to vectorize an image and this set of videos is more of a guide to help you learn a little bit more about each of the techniques and finding out which method suits you.
So that concludes this short introduction to tracing images. Thank you for watching.